I feel that the shoes are the star, so you should be talking to them. I'm just the facilitator. Hi, I'm Phil LaDuca. I'm a theatrical shoe designer. Leduca shoes different is the fact that I not only talked the talk but I had walked the walk. I was a Broadway dancer. I danced in Brigadoon for Agnes DeMille. Um, I danced for Twyla Tharp. I was the original understudy for the Gene Kelly role uh, of Singing in the Rain on Broadway and after several years of dancing on Broadway I then became a choreographer dance teacher. I didn't choose to be a shoe designer. It chose me. And having injuries and realizing that my dance career was ending. And luckily having that idea that has translated into Leduca shoes, I was able to stay within the community. At the time, no one was addressing the needs of that dancer. Everything else had evolved, the costume, the sets, but the shoes had kind of stayed the same. Character shoes were made to resemble a character. However, behind that character was an incredibly trained, highly efficient dancer. Here's a character shoe. It's a three-inch heel. It has all the elements of straps and toe box and heel counters. Now, as a dancer, we spend our whole lives articulating our feet. So to be able to brush the floor, to point, to flex, that was the problem with a hard shoe. You couldn't articulate it. What I did was take a character shoe, give it the stability. I added the flexibility into the shoe so that they are able to point. Dancers put an incredible amount of strain on their bodies and of course everything is going to go down to the feet. So most dancers um, have very bad feet and that is because of the demands that they put on them. My intent for creating Leduca shoes was to help dancers to avoid injuries and to dance to their maximum. I had to learn shoemaking. I didn't study, grow up to be a shoemaker. I didn't study design. I didn't go to FIT. I kind of learned on the run. This is what we call a stock off the shelf shoe. I designed it to fit a size. However, when Kristen Chenoweth is going to be doing Promises Promises on Broadway, um, I will do full tracings and measurements of their feet so that I specifically make a mold, a last, and pattern for her foot. So the entire shoe is customized. I will have a costume designer come in and say I'm working on this show and this is the concept. Here are the sketches. Um, I will go over the sketches with the designer I will recommend things to them. You see from the sketching what the upper of the shoe looks like. What I discuss with Alicia is how to translate what we want, Leduca shoes, into the inner workings of the shoes, the soles, uh, the insoles, the arches, the shanks, and in this case that uh, Tim Hatley gets the design that he wants out of it. What I will do is I will take elements of my dance background and I will make it danceable, depending on the character. Singers need support. They need to feel comfortable. They need to feel secure. They need to feel that they are movable and free. Then I need to work with the actor who is going to be in the, those shoes because they not only have to look good, they have to feel good. Um, everybody's feet are different. Everybody has one foot longer than the other and one foot wider than the other. They have to be able to perform at their best and that's my job. My job is to make sure that they don't know they have a shoe on. B.B. Nurworth, we used to dance together 
And she said to me, where were you when I was dancing in the chorus line and little me and all these? I said, you know where I was, Bibi, I was dancing next to you. Flash forward, I have the good fortune of still working with a Bibi Nurworth, but now as a facilitator and a creator. The Adams Family choreographer, Sergio Trajillo, um, came to me because Bibi, playing Morticia, was going to rip off that tight dress, hourglass dress, and do a tango. And so we needed to come up with these boots that look like a second skin on her. The costume designer wants the look, the performer wants the feel, the dancers want the functionality. I've got to get all of that out of the factory who has finite materials. They have lasts that they make, they adapt to the tracings, to the measurements, but it's all fine tuning. What is so enriching to my life right now is the fact that um, I'm not subject to one show. Um, I can say that La Duca is dancing in 10 Broadway shows and four movies and 18 tours and, and seven productions of Wicked around the world. And I am not limited. I am able to float within all of these areas. And the fact that I'm able to do that is what makes me feel like my life is very blessed and special.